What's up you guys? Ethan's Mystical Child here coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you guys. When you see this reading, hopefully you're in good spirits. And if you're in the States or wherever you are in the summertime, hopefully you're getting out and enjoying the summertime and a good old sun that's out there for you. So today's topic is who is doing spell magic on you or who's doing moon magic on you. So subscribers, what's up? What's popping? Old and new. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So we have three pals. This will be pal number one, pal number two, pal number three. I'll give you crystals. For pal number three, I'm going backwards, will be the clear quartz. For pal two, is the lapis lazuli. And for pal three, the amethyst. So for Pile 1, you have the Amethyst, Lapis Lazuli. For Pile 2, Pile 3, you have the Clay Quartz. I see you in Pile 1. Pile 1, hold on for a second. Okay, Pile 3, Pile 1, if you pick this Amethyst or this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Subscribers know all was popping. Hopefully you're in good spirits and doing well and enjoying your summer. If you're a visitor, welcome. Return to visitors. Welcome back. So let's get to the title. The title is who's performing moon magic on you or who's performing spell work on you. So take what apply, leave the rest, and let's get right to the reading. So you have the Eight of Coins, Temperance, the Empress, Queen of Swords, the Knight of Coins, Wanda Turn and Reverse. It was really reversing, but I kept it sideways. Then you have the Six of Swords, Three of Swords, the Knight of Wands in Reverse. Now, Who's doing spell work on you? It could be your mother. It could be somebody with children. So let's see real quick. Who is this person? Because with the Empress and the Queen of Swords, this is a person that's emotionally detached. This is a person who's very, how can I say, very cold more time, more cold and like cold and callous. Or they could just be detached from their emotions. This is somebody that's supposed to be a leader, but a leader that doesn't lead with their emotions. They lead with logic. My cards are messing up. It says frenemy. Ah, I'm supposed to produce these as an official deck, but I refuse to do it because I like them at, like this as like my little project that I started. But if, eventually I'm going to make them as a official deck. But I hate when this happens. Ugh, come on, cards. <laughs> this is crazy. Somebody's an atheist. A friend of me and an atheist. Somebody who don't believe in God. So if your mother, she doesn't believe in God. She could go to church or whatever, but she doesn't worship the light. She worships the dark. We are talking about moon magic, so shit. Not to dig at anybody's mother. Who is this empress for power one? Somebody's a tarot reader. So this person delves in the art or they, or they pull cards or... Well, it's not strange because this is a moon magic reading, but on the bottom it says your ex. This person delves in spell work. So it could be somebody who does tarot, another tarot reader. Who is this empress? It says co-defendant or trap homie. So somebody that... You have been in jail with, got arrested, locked up with together, or somebody you sell drugs with, or this person sell drugs, and you be around them. Clarify this, um, it says cousin. The cousin is in reverse. They in balanced. Clarify this queen of swords. Who's this queen of swords, even though they came out together? And laws came out. And somebody that's a crush. Someone you party with. So that's a lot of people. In the bottom it says third party. So you have an in-law crush, somebody been in jail with, or somebody you sell drugs with, or somebody who sell drugs and you be around them, your cousin, another tarot reader, somebody who delves in tarot, and someone that you party with is doing spell work on you. Now, let's get to this. This person, I'm going to move backwards instead of moving forwards. This person is a knight of wands in reverse, and then you have the three of swords. This person is heartbroken that, for one, their spell work is not working because... The Knight of Wands is in reverse. When the Knight of Wands is in reverse, they're not in a power. They tyrannical, they impulsive, they very irrational. This person have like mental or mental disorders. They don't think properly. 
hands down. This person is like a silver tongue devil as well. They lie, they gossip, they cheat, they steal, they spread lies about people, they stalk people. But this person is um is heartbroken. They going through some dark emotions right here. Then you have the Empress and the Queen of Wands. I already sp explained her to you. But this Empress, you could be the Empress and then they could be the Queen of Wands. But I believe this Empress and the Queen of Wands is the same person because they came out together. Somebody name could be Stacy. Somebody name could be Tate or Tatum. Somebody name could be Betty, Dave. You have a Harvey. You have a Shelly. And you have a next Harvey. You have a Harry. And you have a Patty or a Patsy. And then you have the Knight of Coins and going in reverse. So this, this, this moon magic is not working. This spell work is not working on you. You have the temperance here. So somebody's definitely here doing spell work. The temperance, the, em uh, the empress, and these cards is them using a, um, abilities to do magicians because the temperance is somebody that's like a spiritual leader. They can, uh, they can do spell work. Most of the time they know a lot about spell work, spell work and they doing, the moon is in the back. So they probably doing it on a red moon. Um, when it's a full red moon, this person is definitely doing spell work on you. This empress here too is somebody who don't take care of themselves. They look wild. They don't take care of their hair. They look, some of them look like they just like to have like, how can I say, boogers in their eyes. They just, they just, this is a person that don't take care of themselves. But this person is doing spell work on you because whatever went on here, you balanced yourself and then you walked away from this person. You moved on from this person. If this person is a mother, she have at least two child, two children that's doing spell work on you. Or you are somebody with two children and moved on from this person who's doing spell work on you. So let me start clarifying this some, some way. Clarify the eight of coins. Who's this eight of coins and what power one needs to know about it? This person want to stop your creativity. They want to stop your um your growth, your money, your stability. This is what this person is trying to do. Clarify this eight of coins. It says six of wands. They don't want people to like you. And it says judgment. This person is going through judgment. They want you to go through judgment though. Because people in a community celebrate you. People like you. You are somebody that's like a person that like take on challenges and win battles. The light is too bright. It's like you're not going to get a good view of it. But this person's name could be Tony or Lee. Somebody here have untapped potential and they're mad that you, you have tapped into your abilities to create and to co-create, to create, to be creative. Some of you have infinite abilities to create. But the judgment here, this person has to go through death now. But this person wanted you to go through death. They wanted all your creative abilities to be, like, put to rest. Some of them was doing this moon magic and sending you, uh, what would I say, devils or demons in your dream. Yeah, this person don't like how people like you. But I'm going to come out of this deck. I'm not going to use that deck. Somebody mad that you don't want them anymore or you don't want them at all. They longing to be with you. These cards are not acting right. I've been even behind the scene, me shuffling them, getting them together, prepping and doing all that. The energy is like jumpy. This person have anxiety. Clarify this eight. No, matter of fact, forget that for a second. Clarify this empress and this queen of swords. Chemistry, passion. This person have chemistry and passion for you. This could be a same-sex relationship, somebody of the same sex like you, or somebody that you was in a relationship. They baby mother could be doing spell work on you, or this person could be the one doing the spell work on you, or having them do the spell work on you. Take it how it applies. Clarify this um, chemistry, this empress, and this king of swords. Why are they doing... Um, Moon magic on confusion, illusions, Neptune energy. This person could be a Pisces, strong Pisces here. Strong Libra too, and, and Aries, Taurus as well, and Scorpio energy. Yeah, this person have blurred uh, boundaries. They, they, they codependent, they deceptive. This person have no boundaries, to be honest. They blurred. They don't know what uh, what boundaries is. 
especially in a relationship. This is somebody you was in a relationship with that tried to pull the wool over your eyes, wanted you to think that this relationship was something that it wasn't. You walked away from them. You gained the power to walk away from them. They're mad about this. This is why they're doing moon magic. Clarify this knight of wands and his three of swords. Why is this person doing moon magic? It says divine timing leap. So with this judgment here and the divine timing and the leap, you waited for a divine timing to leave this person. Some of you slowly left this person. You didn't just up and, and, and leave this person. But you left this person feeling desolate. This person feel like, like they're... They're, 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 how can I say it? They feel like their life is closing down on them. This person deals with nothing but scarcity. And they don't have anything. They don't bet on themselves. They can't bet on themselves. This person is too scared to venture out on themselves. This could have been a soulmate relationship as well. A relationship that's, you mirrored souls. And you were supposed to learn from this person. Relationships like this force you to grow. They be deep and very passionate and very... Hard to let go, some of them. But yeah, it's for you to grow. Clarify this temperance here. Who's doing more magic on power one? Somebody that needs to balance themselves because they feel fragmented, lost, and rejected. This person needs to balance themselves. They're not balanced. They're not tapped into their divine energy, their masculine energy, their feminine energy. They're just not balanced at all. This person is a codependent person who can't live on a, on their own. This person is insecure too and immature. They don't believe in themselves. They don't have any self-worth either, this person. Clarify the three of swords. What causes three of swords for power one? It says separation, nurture, and compassion. So this person wasn't nurturing you. They wasn't being compassionate. They was just being impulsive and tyrannical. Like a baby narcissist around here. Or somebody with strong narcissist um, traits. Clarify this three of swords. The union and the twin flames came back again. This is a strong relationship. A baby mother, somebody who have children by you, somebody who don't have children by you that have children, because this could be a friend as well. Clarify the six of swords. Why is this person doing spell work or more magic on pal one? I'm about to come out of this deck. I'm being told to come out of this deck. Okay, hold on for a second. I didn't really prep other decks, but let's use this one. Uh, it's 12, 13. <laughs> the three of swords want to be swallowed up. They don't want you to know that they fucking a hater. It says remote viewing, looking into your life with their mind. So they're using a third eye to tap into your life. It says, Lavender Sage, clear away negative thoughts, energies, hum harmonize the mind, enhances intuition, inspire love and feelings. So you guys need to use Sage, Lavender Sage in particular, because they have different sages. Use Lavender Sage. Clarify this, um, this Empress and this King of, this Queen of Swords. Why are they doing spell work? You will witness their karma. So whatever spell work they're doing, this clown, you're going to witness their karma. Whether it's your mother, somebody with children. Confirmation. Clarify this um, um, temperance energy. Someone is doing black magic juju work on you. So you guys are the temperance. As you are the temperance, like I said, you balance yourself and you left here. But this person is damn sure doing spell work on you. Just keep tempering yourself, balancing your energy. Keep staying high, high and um in a high vibe because this energy will miss you. And your um gatekeepers are watching over you anyway. Some of you could be um how can I say Earth Angels? You could be a Sagittarius here. Clarify this um six of not the six of swords. Clarify this three of hearts. Three of hearts, what I'm talking about. This person going through a lot of confusion. Is this they going through a dark night of the soul? Clarify this three of swords and this knight of wands in reverse. Who is this person? It says get a dream catcher to hang over your bed. Hold on for a second. 
Okay, so pal, when you need to get a dream catcher, you need to, um, what it says, the other one. You need some lavender sage. On the bottom of this, it says black obsidian carries a common and positive energy that can help you remember to look on the bright side of things. It also absor absorbs negative energy. So, let's get out of that deck. I'm about to go to pal two. This is last messages for you guys. Oh, is this the deck here? Clarify this. Um, it says, if you can have sex with me, remember to be careful. My sex heals. The shadow will no longer hide in the dark. You made this person have a, um, a dark night of the soul. You also had a, gave them a spiritual awakening because this person is a toxic person. This is a karmic situation. And you guys are either spiritual um I want to say spiritual beings, but I didn't mean to say that. You're either earth angel, light worker, star seed, indigo child. You some you you play an important role in this in this world. So you're gonna watch this person calm. You're gonna watch them crash and burn. But you guys were supposed to meet. That's why the twin flame came out. And this is identical to the um, twin flame because it's my card. This this you know. So clarify this um knight of wands. Why? What's wrong with them? What's why are they doing this? Why is this knight of wands doing this? says this is so intense i can't comprehend my feelings or thoughts for you yeah this person i told you they they immature they haven't grown into themselves yet they still living for people i'm trying to fix myself up for you you deserve nothing less you the impress i always trust the wrong people in my life it's a cycle i'm trapped in they trapped in a comic cycle this person was raised with like narcissists con artists and stuff like that you killed my ego i never been there for before so very good for you guys who killed this person ego but real quick, I want to clarify this Eight of Pentacles. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles for Power One. Why is this person doing spell work on them? It says toxicity bound in patterns. This person is a, 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 this person is a, how can I say? This person is for the streets. This person is a, a, a person that self sabotage This is a destructive person, very destructive person, but they could be very creative, but they're very destructive. They bound by the, toxic um, patterns and stuff so if you have gotten something from this like and or subscribe they need stability harmony but they don't have it you guys have it that's why you didn't impress and the temperance over here even though this person is an empress in reverse so like and or subscribe on the bottom it says a masculine so till next time pow two like and or subscribe till next time again Power one, I just got downloads for you real quick. This person, to describe this person for you so you can know who it is even more for you guys. This person could be somebody that's very impulsive, somebody that likes to fight you, somebody that's hypersexual. This person is immature when it comes to sex. They think sex equals um, a relationship or love. So hopefully that helps you. Till next time. Power two, if you pick this lapis lazuli, or if you pick this deck right here, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully you could get some messages and it's bring you clarity and you in good spirits. Also, hopefully you're enjoying your summer. So like it or subscribe if it resonates with you. Take what apply and leave the rest. Title today is who is performing moon magic on your spell work. So we're going to get right to it. The bottom of the deck is the magician. The top of the deck is the two of pentacles. So somebody is definitely actively doing spell work um, when it comes to you guys. The magician could be somebody that's a Virgo or a Gemini. You have the Nine of Swords here. You have the Page of Cups. You have the Page of Wands. Tower in Reverse. The Lovers. Nine of Wands. And then you have the Six of Cups. Somebody here could be a Cancer, a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Virgo, a Libra, a Taurus, Aquarius or a Pisces. I know that's a lot of the zodiac. Somebody could also have um, Saturn or Saturn or Jupiter in these signs. So this person here is going through mental anxiety. But I'm gonna say who's who's doing the spell work is going towards you. So this is like what they wanted you to feel. So hold on for a second. Who's doing spell work on Pal Two? Uh, Aries, and that fell right on that tower. And the Aries is a, um, the Aries is the tower energy. You have the
hairdresser, manicurist, or stylist, or somebody who ever does your hair, does your nails, who know how to do wigs and stuff like that. You have a nephew who's doing spell work and power too. You have a Taurus. Somebody has a rest of arrested development so somebody immature insecure somebody that who doesn't know themselves somebody who haven't grown up they still toxic and immature as fuck and it says the collective so you guys you have an aries in reverse and that's scary because the aries in reverse is somebody that's a narcissist if they're not a narcissist they are borderline narcissists because that's how that energy is they could be um they have mental issues this aries they impulsive they tyrannical they don't make good decisions. They're not a great leader at all. This person is as toxic as fuck. All these people are toxic. Then you have a Taurus in reverse. A Taurus in reverse as well as a money-hungry, toxic person. When I say money-hungry and stubborn, it, it's disgusting. But these people don't know themselves. So these are the people who's doing this, okay? Let's put this to the side. Let's put these right here. Uh, somebody could smoke as well somebody could like big lighters okay so now this person who's doing this spell work wanted they actively doing it because the magician is here and behind the magician is the damn devil so this person is a person that has let their vices their toxicity they have let their um addictions and their how can i say they shadow side get the best of them so the tower is in reverse. So the tower is in reverse. This is person living a stale life. They refuse to change. This person have the fear of the unknown. They are in denial. They're very self-destructive. They have upheaval in a life. This is what they're going through, but this is what they wanted for you. This person's dreams are, are turning on them. They have nightmares, but they wanted you to have nightmares as well. And this energy is, is similar energy coming from power one. But this person definitely wanted you to have nightmares. They wanted you to be questioning your reality or have mental instabilities to stop you from going on a path that you need to go on, on the journey you need to go on. With the Page of Cups and Lovers, this was an important love, um, if it was a love relationship, this was an important relationship in your life and in their life. This was a relationship that could have grown, that could have manifested into something great, but this person is toxic. You have the Page of Wands here. Somebody that's very cunning, somebody that's very manipulative, somebody that's very callous, someone that's very fiery, but they immature. They're very impulsive, this person. And all they care about is sex, what they want. All they think about is they want, their ego. This person is an egotistical person. Hold on for a second. What time is it? <coughs> With the lovers here, this person made a bad choice. They realized that their choices have now come back to bite them. But you guys were supposed to see, again, eye to eye. You would cut, if this person was not on a demon time, you would have been equally yoked with this person. You have the nine of swords and the lovers. This person is burdened. All the spell work they're doing is leaving them burdened. Some of them are losing their looks. Some of them has lost weight. Some of them have gotten cut in their face. Some of them try to love bomb you. Some of you, this relationship could have started out innocent. And then it just went to hell because this person became jealous of you and became very toxic. And became like a person that don't know themselves. This is a person who, who want to bring love to you. This could be a same-sex relationship too. Or it's not a same-sex relationship. It could be somebody of your same sex that like you and you don't like them. You don't go that way. But this person is obsessed with you. Clarify this lovers and page of cups. Why is this person doing moon magic? Freedom, leap, Uranus, opportunities. Some of you guys could be an Aquarius energy. I already said it could be a Libra, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or an Aries. Somebody here could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, this person wanted to clip your wings. This person was mad that you had freedom. This person didn't like the fact that you bet on yourself, you take um, leaps of faith on yourself, you are very rebellious, you are not somebody who has been doctrinated in, in uh, how can I say, you haven't been programmed, this person is mad at that, 
They want to keep you. They want to keep you in a box. Some of them want to take you and and keep you in a box, stifle you, have nobody see you, try to snuff your joy out of you. Some of them they try to steal your fucking destiny with this tower in reverse. Every gift or any opportunities the universe wanted and to give you, they want to snuff it out. Clarify this nine of wands in this lovers card, which is. It says assistant spiritual guide. So some of you guys will let let um let on a new path by your spirit guides. Your spirit guides help you. They told you to get away from this person. This person was putting you through too many burdens, too many battles. It was like this person was really keeping you down. Clarify this page of wands. Disharmony triggers and conflict. This person have too much fucking ego. This person can't have a relationship with nobody because they're in a relationship with their penis or their vagina. This person's ego is out of control. Somebody could have a, a blonde, long weave or wig that they wear. If it's a man, he have short, cropped hair, but he is, like, intense. That Taurus and Scorpio Aries energy. This person is very toxic. Unexpected storm. Towel on the bottom. So it's a towel moment. This person was um, realizing that this is not affecting you. You have the towel in reverse and the towel upright. The tower upright is somebody that rips the, the, the mask basically off somebody's damn face and give them a clear revelation. Pull a rug from underneath them. So with this, um, because it fell over here with the six of cups. Yeah, you, you ripped the rug from underneath them. You gained your power and moved on from this person. Or you unexpectedly let this person know that, yeah, what you're doing is not going to work. Some of you beat this person at their own game. It says until debt tears part, contracts, contracts, career commitments. This person wanted to have you in a karmic tie. They wanted to keep you karmically bound to them. With the Saturn here, strong Capricorn energy. Um, let's, like, I wanted to give the other pal, uh, um, I'm not, if they're going through this. What pal two need to know if they're going through this? What messages could help them? It says, escape materialism. Shift your focus away from materials and develop a healthy inner world. Stop doing everything for image. Everything is perfect on the outside, but the inside is crashing and burning. This shit is whack. You need to come out of this um, programming, this doctrination that been, like, this cultural belief or whatever this is. It's of overcoming obstacles. Get back on your feet. Gain your strength from difficult situations, a.k.a. the spell work. So you have to raise your vibes if you're going through this, if you feel like your energy is being sucked from underneath you. Last messages. Clarify this um, tower and reverse in this tower upright with this six of cups and this ace of wands. Shit, they gonna start spitting out now. This came out in power one. All these cards came back out. It says someone is doing black magic juju work on you. So go to power one if you haven't gone yet. It says tap into your intuition. You already know who this person is. It says seek someone who to seek someone to perform or learn. A cord cut and ritual. So you need to cut the cords. Other power one have other um other things they need to do. Somebody is um the same sex relationship or they hiding they in the same sex relationship. This person hating on you has a narcissistic personality and behavior. I said it already. I said that for power one too. So if you have gotten something from this power two, like and or subscribe. I'm going off to power three. Till next time in Taroland. How three if you pick this deck or if you pick this clear um, clear quartz. This is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Title today is Who's Performing Moon Magic on You? And take what apply, leave the rest. Subscribers new and old was popping. Hopefully you in good spirits and you enjoy this reading and it'll be useful to you. If you are a visitor, welcome. Return to visitors, welcome back. If you haven't been to um, other pals, there are messages in um, both power one and two for you. Okay, let's get right to this. I said take what apply, leave the rest, right? Shout out to you guys and all of that. Yes, so let's get to the I'm reading. You have a king of wands here. This could be a father, a mother. This could be somebody that could be your brother, an older person that has some type of authority or some type of say-so in your life or they have some type of, type of say-so regarding you. Let's say that. This person could be a Gemini. It's a secret mode playing from both playing both sides. This person is an atheist. They act like they believe in church and go to church potentially, but they're atheists. It could be your business owner, somebody you want to open a business with. 
This is somebody who people like to be around because the uh, King of Wands is somebody that is a fire sign that's very passionate. But this person can attract people. People are naturally attracted to them because of their passion and how they just like to go after things and stuff like this. This person could have eye problems. They could have cataracts or they could be blind or they need glasses to do um, to see. But this person is a person that you normally would have to keep up with them. They could have a dog. This person don't like the fact that you are very adventurous as a page of, page of blades. They don't like your adventurous spirit. They don't like how you like to explore things, how you just in tune with nature. They don't like your cherry disposition. They don't like that you are happy-go-lucky. They don't like the fact that people are intrigued with you. They don't like the fact that you have infinite abilities. This could be your parents. With the two of blades and then the six of wands, you walked away from this person. You left them with their baggage. Some of them, they needed you for money. This person also could be a Sagittarius, a church member, or an Aries. This person have a lot of baggage that they're walking around with, and you you left them behind. It could be a child's father. But this person is a person that have a lot of um, bills. They don't pay their bills on time, or somebody who disregards their bills. This person could be a Pisces as well. But some of you could be the Pisces because it seems like you the carefree energy. You are the black sheep of the family. You don't go along with what they want you to go along with. You are not programmed. You are free. You are somebody that could be enlightened. Somebody that's a spiritual being. Somebody that is born with gifts. You are very adventurous as well. You're very athletic. You like to win. You could have been somebody who played sports or ran track and you're on your path. Confirmation in the background if you didn't hear that. Dragonflies could be a spirit um, animal for you or a spirit, um, how can I say, a spirit being. Because it's not really an animal. It's an insect. But, yeah. Some of you believe in fairies or you could be from the fae or you pray to fae. This person like the fact that people cheer you on. That people support you in the community. That you are an upright. That you're not toxic. That you get a lot of attention. They don't like that. So let's go to um, why this person is doing it. What's wrong with them mentally. It says, I have a lot of baggage I'm walking around with and this shit hurts. And I told you guys earlier, you're walking away from this baggage. I didn't even see these cards. I pulled these. I didn't see them. We seen them together. Everyone was grimy around me when I was being raised. Con artists, liars, and schemers. I got this as a download for Pal 2. I have never learned how to express my feelings or emotions in a healthy, mature way. So these people are immature, insecure. They don't believe in themselves. They don't bet on themselves. They don't bank on themselves. And you do. And they want to clip your wings. They don't like this about you. They don't like the fact that you are a full energy. You go after what you want. You optimistic. You adventurous. They don't like this. They don't like your spiritual um, abilities because your light upset their demons. They said It says life is a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get, so I roll with the punches. This person is for the streets. Or if they're not for the streets, they have a mentality that's for the streets. I hurt people before they can hurt me. I have a traumatic...